so it's about time to start picking our runner beans. I planted these uh, two years ago. Um, a friend of mine, a neighbor of ours, gave us, I don't know, about 15 or 20 of these pods, which um, I just harvested and then I kept last year, not, not eating any of them, and planted them again and got a lot of beans back out of it. So this year I might eat some of them, but really I'm replanting and resaving. They covered up this whole fence. They had beautiful, some of them were red flowers, some of them were pink flowers. But what I want to do is we've got some uh, long fences on the front of the, the house and I want to plant these next year there so they cover up the whole fence and um, it'll just be gorgeous. And it really makes a, a nice um, barrier. I wanted to show you guys these, um, so you can let them dry on the uh, branch here, which is my preferred way to do it. And these are almost all the way dry. It's still a little green. Let's see if there's a brown one here. Here's a nice brown one. You can see how much darker they'll get. And we can just go ahead and, oh, the back side's not done, but it doesn't matter. We'll open these up and see how beautiful these are purple flowers are red or pink. Um, the smaller ones are pink flowers. But these are just a regular uh, bean you can dry and eat. So um, runner beans, it's a good thing. It's a set and forget uh, legume, which means really all you have to do is plant it and leave it alone. If you have some kind of area for them to grow up, and you can see there's this, uh, what is it? Uh, four by three inch metal fencing here. It's a piece I've reused um, several times now and I'll just leave it here but um, if it can grow up by itself it will. So lots of protein. You know protein sources are sometimes difficult to get on the farm if you're not raising animals um, but beans are a good good way to do that. So Anyway, uh, runner beans, they grow really well here, and yeah, we're going to harvest these up. They'll, I'll have to come back and do a second harvest on these that are still green. It is almost the beginning of November. Um, we've had a couple light frosts. Soon we'll get some heavy frosts, and at that point I'll pick them all and let them dry. But anyway, I wanted to show you these. These are something I haven't really talked about, but they're just so gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm sure with, if you cook it, it'll the color might fade. I don't know, like a kidney bean or something. Then it's a big bean, right? It's got to be an inch long, a half an inch wide. So it's a lot of protein packed in there. Anyway, runner beans. They're a good thing. Let me know if you have any questions. Well, I'm picking these beans, too. I suddenly remembered that my neighbor or my research showed me that we uh, may be able to overwinter these kinds of beans in place, meaning I am not going to pull out these plants. Um, if anything, I'll cut them back to the, the root, and I will, uh, or I'll just leave it up like this and just let it kind of fall apart. Um, and then I'll bring in more wood chips like I have here and leaves and grass and kind of bury it down in there and we'll see if uh, maybe I won't have to plant these in this section next year which would be very cool right maybe the plant itself will overwinter I tried this last year my results were inconclusive um, I did have a few plants come back up but I wasn't sure if that was because some beans fell you know from an open pod because if these dry totally out up here the it'll the pod will open up the beans will fall down which is the natural process of reproduction for these plants or if it was the uh, root system itself. You may recall we had um, a really big freeze. I was without power for quite a long time, 10 days, um, which also meant we were up without water because we're on a well. Anyway, um, so we had a very cold part of the winter. So we'll see. We'll see. We're going to give that this a try, and um, we'll try the whole fence. And so if we start getting beans popping up here then we'll know that it works. Uh, these come up when it's a little warmer 
out. So, you know, a lot of uh, spring crops come up when the ground is about 50 degrees. These come up, I think, when it's like 60, 65 degrees. So, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it, and we'll check it out. Another experiment, you guys. We're experiment rich this year. Um, it'll, it, be, it will be interesting and fun to see, though, because if I can um, overwinter these in place, what a bean savings that would be, right? We could eat more. We all like to eat more. All right. Take care. Let me know if you have any questions, and we'll see you.